Just let me get this. Yeah, what are we doing here? What are we doing? That's a great question. I've already had stone IPA. Piece. So uh, we've all had stone IPA. Thank you very much. <laughs> Which one piece. is this, Paul? And we've argued about it. This is a brand new one that they just came out with. I, uh, I bought this earlier this week. I think maybe Sunday night, maybe Monday. I bought this. Uh, so I've not seen this before. Real, this is real new. Uh, gluten free. Reduce gluten. Reduce gluten. I'm sorry. Reduce, reduce gluten. gluten. We're not. It's, it's crafted to reduce gluten. Seven point seven percent alcohol. It is, uh... So it's a double? No, it's not double. That's, that's a regular. Right that's right. I don't untap this lid as an imperial slash double. This one is? Okay, yeah. come on. Let's do it. Yeah, I'll move this. Doubles don't start until eight now. That's what I thought. That would be ten. Yeah. Sessions are at six. Six point five. Yeah. <laughs> if I look at an IPA and there's anything six. below six, six, I'm like, what is this? A session there? <laughs> Maybe a beer. It says yeah. right here, uh, when crafting an IPA deserving of the name Delicious, Intense Flavor was Paramount. And that's uh, just what this bright, hoppy, lemony standout Ooh. brings to the table. All right. Lemony. So I definitely specific. had this. Yeah. This hashtag's all over this bottle. What is it? Uh, oh. Hashtag delicious that day. Hashtag paired with. Oh wow. Uh, get some awesome pairing. Share it with us. Use the hashtag paired with. How come that's it doesn't new. say uh, hashtag beer friends on there? Uh, yeah, don't minute. think that they care. Oh, it does. So you know, yeah. put hashtag beer well, friends. Well, it says hashtag like the beer friends right here. Oh right. Oh uh, right here. Right here. You can see it right here. Right here. here. So, uh, I've tried this. <laughs> Graham may have tried this. I have not tried Phil this. Phil has definitely not, not tried had this. this. Nope, I was so wrong. So, why don't we uh, test this out? Well, we should, we should hashtag it paired with another stone. Hashtag beer here. friends paired with beer friends. I am drinking uh, out of the IPA friends. glass. You can see Graham is drinking out of the Red Sox shaker pint. Phil is out of the bottle. Strong yeah. cover. Right. There, there it is. is. Drink, drink it up. Drink it. I wanted to show the sauce. I'm just drinking. Tastes like sauce. Interesting. This is a this is much different out of a different glass. This is a very. What did you think? That's good. It's it's interesting. I don't know if I call it lemony though, but I've never had El Dorado hops though. I think. Uh, you definitely have, but you might not have noticed them. Maybe. Is it I'm not pretty sure we've had those. I don't think I've heard of lemon drop hops either. That's possible. Graham, what do you think of it? Um. I don't know. It's, uh, I do get a little hint hint of lemon. I think it's kind of dull, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, That's a good way uh, the, I don't know, yeah. But it's a very it light. It tastes like beer. It's it a, tastes like a light It's IPA. a very light IPA that has, still has the alcohol kick to it. It still, has the, high, it still has the ABV, but it's a lighter. It's I mean, look at it. You can see it's yeah. a lighter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beer. It this, reminds me of some of the conversations we've had about session beers mm -hmm. and the possibilities that reducing malts of which gluten would be present in many months, so I'm not exactly sure what their process is, um, kind of takes away that backbone to yeah, a beer. You're, you're taking the words right yeah. out of my mouth. But then also with those session beers, we I know we had talked before about how we take away the malt backbone and then the hops just seem way more present. This I don't even really get very many hops. Well, I get a lot of hops. You're out of control. It, yeah. uh, I get kind of is, just is a bland. He part of me? Like, yeah. Yeah. I just get a bland across the board, kind of like... It's oh, definitely not bland. Beer. I, 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 think, I get a different flavor out of the IPA glass than I even got out of the bottle when I drank it. Try that. Yeah, I mean, it's hoppy. You're that right. That levels it out more. And there's a citrus to it, but... Yeah, I don't know. There's something missing. That's better. Try that. It's still missing. I, I agree with you. I think you're... You're you're dead on with the with the take on like backbone is a very good description of that. Yeah. We should actually really start using that with more. That like the the backbone for that there there is something that just kind of like you know it's like a hyena's butt. It's just like this is kind of like oh, like this. Like let me let, uh, this is what I think about it is like when I go to a German beer bar and I get like a crisp German pilsner that mm -hmm. has some grassy hops to it. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like this. Okay. Except this has a little bit of a citrusy. Tinged to Even it. that's still maltier. I think I think this is when because uh, we've we've had a lot of we've done a lot of beers or we've reviewed a lot of beers that were very very hoppy where we we've talked about where there's almost no malts present mm -hmm. in the taste or at least we've yep. said that. Uh, this is a very excellent example of how we're wrong in that part is that we just don't notice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because this yeah. this I would assume that they get the reduced gluten by 
some like so that's having to do with the malts. Is, it's yeah, the malts and stuff that they go for. The, right. What's it say? The barley uh, from barley a grain containing a. Uh, Containing gluten and carefully reducing the gluten, or carefully reducing right. gluten. So, so it has something to do with the malts. This, I, I think you're right. Takes it out, and now I appreciate those other beers much more. <laughs> yeah, I wonder what kind of um, grains they used um, to keep the alcohol content so high, or is it just that they kept it in for longer, or you know how they make that happen? Because I feel like they were reducing the barley. Which is the fermentable sugar? Well, they what are you going to replace it with? Like, they don't reduce re the barley, but they're going to reduce. I mean, I don't think they're adding adjuncts. They may. I don't know what they do mm -hmm. to reduce the gluten. I'm not sure. You can go on someone's website for more information, which none of us did. I have it actually up. But I'm I not bet you the, there's some science on there about science. Yeah, the probably is. They, they actually have a video and stuff you can look at, and they have a couple different things to talk about how it is. So um, we're going to implement. Uh, Graham, uh, actually, <laughs> Phil and I had a meeting recently. We're going to implement our new rating system right, right. this week, starting today. <laughs> oh, I'm uncomfortable. Our new no, rating no. system. No, no, you're going to kick yourself yeah. in the face. We're not. <laughs> no, 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 I'm going back to. It. I'm going right back to home runs. No, and you baseball. have to stick with us. Yeah, so yeah, this is the first base. Stop, stop, shut up for a minute. Jesus Christ, this is why people. This is why I can't. This is what I have to deal with. Graham. Uh, our time's up. Our timer's gone off. We're running a little long here. Uh, so, Phil, <laughs> I'll start with you, since okay. you understand the rating system. Okay. Hopefully, Graham can keep up. <laughs> Baseball. What do you give this out of a six pack? I think I think it has to have two. It has to have two numbers. Uh, for for me, I think it would probably be. We're not doing halves, right? Or you can do as many bottles of a six pack. How many? What would you? If okay, let me. I'll, I'll start. Let me start. You know, I already know what this is going to be. And <laughs> this gives a half a six pack for me. And I like it, but I three hate change. Six. This gives a half a six pack for me. This three, is three out of six. If I get, um, I mean, so if I buy this, I might drink three. I might drink about half a six pack. I'm not going to go through the whole thing. This isn't going to hold me over for like a whole day. Like, doing. this is a half a six pack for me. I like it. I don't love it. I like it. I don't love it. I can say that twice. All right, it's stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna pick it up every once in a while. I picked it up because it was new. I will pick it up again. But this is not going to be the only beer in my fridge. So hold on, hold on. So let me get this straight. It's a three out of six for me. We're rating this on how many beers out of a six pack that I buy. No, I'm going to drink. No, you miss all of them because I don't waste. You misunderstand. Go ahead. I'll I'll go with you on on three out of six for this. But like I said, I think it needs to. For me, it's three out of six. Same reason. Like it's it's I can I can enjoy probably you know two or three, for it three would be the max that I would do. But. If you are a person that has that is either celiac or you have a gluten thing or whatever, and you have to be careful of that, this is a six out of six. This so far is the best uh, beer that caters to the crowd that has to watch our gluten. Best. It's not gluten free though. Well, it doesn't but say it's the best taste. It doesn't say so it's crafted to reduce gluten. We we've had a conversation uh, with some people who who are smarter than us, uh, and specifically told that gluten free beers. Uh, may not be able to say they're gluten-free because they can't right. necessarily tell if they can actually get all the gluten out, so they have to warn. This is reduced, uh, crafted reduced gluten. Yeah. You may not have a problem with this. If you have right. a gluten allergy, it's or a fun, you might. It's a fun thing. It says gluten-free beer, and then on yeah, it, it says, says it may contain gluten. So. <laughs> out of us, uh, what, what is your ranking of the so six pack? I'm still so. trying to wrap my head around that. Just so this is like, six. If this is like a create-your-own six-pack at a store, no, like how many would I put way, in? Way it's way basically a five-star ranking. But with six, six, and instead of stars, they're bottles. They're, so if you cans. could just stick with that. Cans. So, like, could I do it, oh, like, Jesus how Christ. much of a bomber? Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we've been the Beer Prince. If you want to hear uh, more of what we had to say about one, uh, if one you have, bomber out of three. If you, have to, if you want to hear more about what we had to say, you can listen to us on BeerFriendsRadio.com, the website right here. Or is it right here? I don't know. Be. BeerFriendsRadio.com. You look at it below, find a Beer Friends Happy Hour on iTunes. Uh, this is Beer Friends Unfiltered. Thank you very much. Bottoms up. Cheers. Second base. I'm rating this a second base. Thankfully, we cut that out. Uh.